Good morning, y'all. My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm going to attempt to do a week in my life, and I feel like I haven't done this since college, so bear with me if I forget to vlog throughout the week. I'm hoping this is going to be a great vlog. I'm still at the beach. We're leaving on the 2nd, which is Thursday, so I'll probably just do actually like a few days in my life and not like a full week, but anyways, we're here still Thursday, so I still have to work, um, but you guys know I work from home usually, so I'm about to go take my computer outside and start working on the porch. If y'all are new here, I do live in Austin, Texas, where I'm on Central Time, but here in South Carolina, I'm on Eastern Time, which means that I have to clock in like, like at the same time I do in Austin, but it's like an hour difference. So like, let's say I clock in there at 7.30, then I clock in here at 8.30, but then I get off later. And I hate that because I always want to get off like as early as possible, obviously, but I'd rather just like literally wake up so early and just get it over with. But luckily it is summer, so the sun sets like super late, like 8.50, like close to nine. Um, but I think I might take a half day tomorrow um, because we might be going on a boat. a mess because I was wearing my headphones but it is 1 p.m. and I think I'm gonna clock out for lunch and take a swim. It is almost 3 30 and I have a meeting with my manager at 3 30. It's like our one-on-one -on -one that we do every week just going over like what I've been doing um, and just any questions I have and then we started to like prioritize what I needed to do especially being newer to the role I just don't know like what comes first so I've been trying to get help with like prioritizing stuff oh my god oh my god that scared me <gasps> the cat oh my goodness holy crap that scared the shit out of me <laughs> this is known to be an evil cat so I'm just gonna ignore it I'm sorry buddy <laughs> I don't want to ignore you, but they told me to. But yeah, so I'm about to get on that one-on-one -on -one soon. Today I worked on the video that I traveled for like the week um, before we came home. And I finished that up. I did some color grading. Um, these videos, like I feel like, you know, it's pretty simple, which is nice because all I have to do is like cut it, like match it to the beat, color grade it, add like their logos and stuff like that. Um, but this one took a while because I got so much footage and the video is like a minute long because they want it for like YouTube ads and stuff like that. So it's really only supposed to be like a minute. So I had to cut it down a lot <laughs> and like pick obviously the best clips. And I always like whenever I film, I always make people reenact the scene like literally at least 10 times just in case. Like what if I didn't see something that like changed in the second clip, you know? I honestly don't think I even told you guys what my job is, but basically I work for a student housing company and my hair looks whack, so I'm just gonna, we'll just cut off my head. That looks probably better. <laughs> um, I work for a student housing company as their content creator. So basically my job is to create uh, content for their the corporate social media. And then also they send me to properties to get like lifestyle videos and lifestyle photos for um, the properties brands and like their social media and stuff like that. So that is why I traveled, but I traveled like in the state of Texas, but I think I'm gonna start traveling again, like out of the state. I'm personally comfortable with it right now. Like I'm taking all the precautions needed. So like I'm comfortable with traveling and these properties like need videos now because um, you know, move-in date is coming up and there's just so much coming up for especially student housing. I'm gonna get back to work, take this meeting. I clock out at like 4.30, so I have like just another hour and then I'm gonna go back into the pool. I literally got out of the pool like, what, at like two or something? I don't know. I can't remember now when did I clock back in. <laughs> but I, I clocked out pretty late for lunch just because um, I wanted to go swimming with Ryan and like he was clocking out late. Um, but my hair is like still soaked. So, amazing. I got off my call a good bit ago, but I just sent over the video to like the people in charge of that property and they loved it. They like are so excited about it and to use it and stuff. So that makes me so happy. Um, but I'm just finishing up editing the videos that I, or the photos that I took at that property. And once I get these photos done, I can send everything over to them and be done with that property and then move on to the next task but it's literally 4.23 and I usually clock out at like 4.30. Well, 
like Eastern Standard Time, but like Austin, I clock out at 3.30. I miss it, but it's okay. I'll be home soon <laughs> and I'll get to clock out uh, at the same time soon, but um, I kind of want to go in the pool again <laughs> and enjoy the outdoors while I'm here. So I'm going to clock out pretty soon and then do that. y'all it is tuesday it is about 9 30 a.m and i did not clock in for work today because we're actually gonna go on chandler's dad's boat at 10 a.m so we're probably gonna leave super soon but i have just been like editing and doing like my own work for a little bit while i can i was just editing a vlog right now um but i think i'm gonna get You're breakfast right. what yeah. ryan's here can we eat something because I feel like my stomach is growling at me. But anyways, I'm going to clock in um, for my real job later in the day after we get back from the boat. <laughs> Ryan just told me that uh, we're not going swimming so I shouldn't wear a swimsuit. But I feel like it's not like weird to wear a swimsuit on a boat even if you're not swimming, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't go on boats very often. I wish I did, but mm -hmm. I don't. boat and I'm gonna clock in for work and start working oh my god <laughs> amazing I'm probably gonna put on a nicer shirt too because I think I have a meeting with my team uh, at 3 p.m. today which is like kind of a bit later but still I want to get ready for it so pop on the shirt it's a little later than 4.30, I just clocked out. Um, I just wanted to like finish up some trainings that I've had on my planner tasks for like weeks and I've just been able to get to them. So that was nice to just be able to cross those off. But now, picking up my other laptop, I literally like switched them out right at 4.30 and I'm gonna finish editing my vlog and maybe I'll do it outside, but it's really humid today, like kind of gross humid, but I do want to get in the pool because we haven't gotten in the pool today. This vlog is like the first day that we were here at the beach. So I want to get this up for you guys. But I also remember that I have a video scheduled for tonight. It's like a swimsuit haul. I feel like I've been talking about this video for so long because I've been referencing these bathing suits. Every swimsuit that I've worn on this vacation is from Cupshe. If you haven't seen that video yet, then go ahead and check it out because it's already up by the time you're watching this video. All right, I'm gonna take this to the dining room and get to it. I took a little dip in the pool and now I'm gonna fly the drone since it's light outside. We got some drone footage last night and it was kind of dark so I wanted to get like it in the daylight so let's fly this thing.
just landed the drone and oh my goodness, I got some amazing stuff. I'll probably insert it in this vlog just so you guys can see. I honestly enjoyed flying it in the daylight instead of sunset better just because I feel like we missed the main part of sunset so maybe that's why but it was just getting so dark that it started to get too grainy but I feel like I got some good shots, yay! Wednesday it is super early so I'm like not even like awake right now um, but we wanted to get breakfast for our last day here on Folly Beach which is so sad like I don't want to leave but like I also want to get back to Austin but it's been amazing staying here like being at the beach and like the pool all day love it today we're gonna go to the Lost Dog Cafe and we woke up pretty early because um, me and Ryan still have to work <laughs> tomorrow is my last day of work today's hump day I'm so appreciative that I have a four day work week. Like I know not everyone has that, but well actually everyone this week has it because I think everyone gets Friday off for 4th of July. Um, but I'm also really excited because when I get back home, we're going back to Georgia obviously because we all drove here and they're from Georgia. Um, but I'm going back to my mom's and we are gonna see some family friends that I haven't seen in so long. So it'll be really fun to celebrate 4th of July with them. I went in the pool during my lunch break and that was a couple of hours ago, but now I think I only have like an hour, maybe like an hour and a half left of work. I'm finishing up some training right now and this course is literally taking forever and this course is talking about stuff about like student housing, which is really interesting, but like half of it is like math and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because I feel like I just don't really have to do math anymore in my everyday life. And I honestly used to be really, really good at math in high school and middle school, but now I... For some reason, I feel like Ryan has like way more calls than usual or maybe it's just because I want to spend more time with him at the beach because he's like working upstairs and I'm working obviously on the porch like I said. We just had a quick break. I like literally just ate mashed potatoes and I'm going to go back to training. Hello. Ryan just got off of work. It is literally 10. It's almost 6, so I guess that's that's normal. <laughs> uh, but it feels so much longer here. Obviously, it's normal because he usually works till 5 in Austin, but here it's like 6 p.m. because of time change. But it just felt like torture waiting for him to come swim with me. So we are going to go to the beach. Can we go to the beach? I kind of want to bring a float. What? Sorry, I w we also have to take a thumbnail for this video really quick. Just got out of the shower. My skin is so freaking dry, so I literally put so much oil on my face, and I still need to like moisturize my whole body. But I've been getting so many bug bites here, and I'm just trying to like power through. <laughs> when I was growing up, I would get really bothered by bug bites and. It would like literally just make me in a bad mood but like it's kind of inevitable at the beach sometimes so i'm just trying to like okay they're not there they're not there my mom gave me um some bug spray and like a bug stick this is kind of like not preventative but this is um like after they bite you so i'm gonna spray this all over my body but then it also kind of makes you feel sticky um but it's kind of worth it i also wanted to show you guys my new t-shirt um, this is not the one that I bought the other night. That's already packed away, but I actually bought this this morning. We went to Lost Dog and Chandler was telling me that a lot of people get shirts from Lost Dog and I was like, all right, well, I'm one of those people because I'm on a mission to collect more shirts. I think I said this in my other vlog. I just kind of want to wean out my uh, sorority t-shirts because I have like so many of them and I only really wear them to sleep, but like if I wanted to wear them out with like athletic shorts, like I want something not sorority because um, it's been like a year and it's just kind of weird especially because I live in a college town 
they have a KD there, so I don't want them to be like, who is that? <laughs> if you were in a sorority, you would know. Comment down below if you guys have ever visited Folly Beach. I'm just interested. This is my first time being here and I love it. I've been to Hilton Head, which is kind of like close-ish. I don't know, I asked them if it was close because like the beach reminded me of Hilton Head. Also, if you guys want to see more like of a touring Charleston kind of thing, definitely go check out my other vlogs. I'll have both of them linked down below. I think I have like two vlogs before this one. Um, that was more kind of like b-roll of like the island Charleston Unfortunately, we didn't really have as much time as we did like on the weekend because obviously me and Ryan were working But honestly, even though we were working like I feel like I got a good amount of time in the pool and the beach Which was nice, but honestly even though we were working I feel like I got a lot of time at the beach in the pool and I was able to sit outside with my laptop and enjoy it So it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it would be